Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Deadcraft73. We're back here playing some Age of Engineering, and in today's episode, it's all about creating a base of operation on the moon. Did you hear me? I said on the moon, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, man, it's exciting. Exciting times. Do I have a uh, tool station by chance? Is there one down here? I just thought about that. We're going to bring this along with us. we got to do some mining today. We need this. Let's bring this with us. Man, we've got an inventory full of different kind of blocks. I'm going to show you what I've got in just a second. Uh, what else do I need? I need some cobalt. Let's grab uh, half a stack of that stuff. Oh my goodness, my inventory is out of control. But I think we have everything we need. In my bag here, I've got my rocket fuel just in case things go bad. I made myself a CO2 scrub, a couple CO2 scrubbers and an oxygen vent. I'll show you what those are here in a little bit. And some carbon collection cartridges, the triple C's. I also have lots of hardened stone. I've got some light uh, chiseled glass, uh, light thing. I've got a basic capacitor bank in my inventory with a million. This is the old one that we built forever ago that was just laying around in my storage. I pulled it out. I've got some lanterns from Immersive Engineering. I've also got some lanterns from Calculator. Yeah, we're going to see uh, which ones work better on the moon. Hopefully one of those do. Uh, i got a couple chests. I've got this tool station and cobalt ingots, and I've repaired my cobalt hammer. So we're going to go use that guy to mine ourselves. Oh, you know what we need? Can I make... Uh... I can. Okay, I can make hardened stone stairs. That's fine. Okay, I think we need to put our space uh, hat on. And let's uh, get on, let's sleep through the night so it's nighttime. Or, uh, excuse me, hello. Let's sleep through the night so it's daytime. And then we're going to go jump on the rocket. And we're going to blast off to Moon Base Alpha. I don't know if that's what we're going to call it or not. I guess we got to think of a good name for our Moon Base. That's for sure. Hello there, Creeper. I don't like you hanging around my infrastructure. I'm tired of all that junk. You get chopped. I'm tired of you. And I'm tired of uh, you. There. Any other bad guys want to uh, cause some problems? I died earlier. I think it's important to tell you guys about that. Can you see it on my thing? Yeah, slain by a zombie. You know how? Uh, I was so used to having my dark steel armor on that I forgot that I had my spacesuit on. <laughs> and I was looking in, my, looking in JEI for some stuff and I was messing around and a zombie with an osmium sword came out of the bushes there. And he hit me two times, and I was dead, which is not cool. Let's jump in the rocket here quick. How are we for fuel? No, we're not doing good for fuel, so we got to relink this thing. I guess that's going to be part of the deal. It's not a big, not a big problem. Let's go over here and link it. All right, now if we jump in this rocket, we should see ourselves uh, filling up with with fuel. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's working, right? So I tell you what. I'm going to get this rocket filled up with fuel. Uh, we need to hit one for me. That's my deal. And we're going to select a des destination. And we're going to say, go to the moon, baby. That's what we want to do. So we want to do select. By the way, uh, I don't think there's any other... Because we're just in a rocket, we can only go to the moon. So, But that's okay. So that's what we want to do. Destination Luna. I've just got to wait till this thing fills up with rocket fuel. And then I'm going to blast off. And I'm going to bring you back on the other side when we're landed on the moon. And we're going to create our little base of operations up there. We talked about that in, I guess, yesterday's episode. How we want to have a little base on every single planet or moon or whatever it is that we, uh, we visit. Oh, man, I love it. Uh, before I uh, hit the space button and take off here, I wanted to talk about one other quick thing. Uh, there's a moon somewhere in the system that's got titanium that you can mine, and we need to find what that is like uh, yesterday. We need to find that. Because I wanted to build a couple little odds and ends, some more advanced, uh, adva uh, advanced rocketry stuff, but I need, oh my goodness, I need, one of the things I want to build takes 18 titanium blocks <laughs> the the thought of crafting that through our current process 
Man, it's unheard of. I can't even think about it. Man, let's go. We got everything we need, right? Inventory. Everybody's good. Lanterns and airlock. Oh, I didn't tell you. We have airlock tour. We're going to need that. Yeah, we got a lever. We've got the things. Uh, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, we got our linker. We got all of our other infrastructure there on the moon. Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's go, bang. All right, so we got to find that planet or moon or whatever it is that's got titanium because we need stacks on stacks of it. So we're going to be working on that in the coming episodes. But for now, we're heading to the moon. You know, just your casual little blast off from the base. I love it. I think it's amazing. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, my friends. We are back on the moon, baby. Oh, we just landed. I love it. I love it. I just linked up uh, my fueling station with the rocket. Want to make sure it's got plenty of fuel for our return trip. Where do we start digging a little bit of a mine? Oh, hello there, gravity. So I think we just need to get a little something. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. I do want to test these. Do these work? Can I put these guys down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Look at all that light that those things put out. Let's just throw some of these lanterns around. That's a better solution than just bringing a bunch of glowstone up here, I think. I mean, why not? Yeah, we'll just light up a little area around here for our moon colony. <laughs> moon base. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Moon base alpha. I don't know what we're going to call it. Let's, um, oh, I wanted to do some other stuff. We'll do that later. I have an idea. Okay. Anyway, this is where we're going to build our uh, fancy moon base thing. Uh, our moon, uh, I guess it's really just a mining outpost Post is really what it is. Can I not, why can't I do the thing? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well then I'm not going to use that for now. Let's just clear out just a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. This stuff's kind of hard to break. It's kind of funny. And let's just clear out a little bit of an area here. Nothing too... Uh, we don't need to spend too much time doing this because we need to get inside. We need to get a habitat created in here on the moon. Okay. Okay. So I think this is the design. It's not anything too crazy, so don't get like all out of control. Can this turn into like different blocks? Can this turn into a different block? Hard oh, just back and forth. Okay, we'll use these paver things, why not? So here's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna go something like, uh -huh, something like, like this. Let's go one, oh my, one, two, three, four, four five one two three four five yeah one two three four five do we have some moon turf we do let's get that and let's fill in a little bit We'll get some more as we need it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then these guys are going to go one, two, and let's go back over here. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. So, one, two, three, four, and let's clear out a little bit more. I don't mind if the terrain sort of comes up on the side of this. It's not a big deal for me. That's not going to bother me uh, in, the in the least. Okay. You know what we should do? We should get one of our lanterns here inside the house already. Just to light it up around here so you guys can see what's going on on the screen. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, and then one, two. That's our mine. That's actually, uh, well, I'm not too worried about that. We'll make our own mine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, put this down. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and then here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we just need some more of these. Okay, like this. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So I got to do a little bit of. I need to get some resources. I I just need a little bit of. I need to fill in that hole in the ground right there. <laughs> I guess if we need bees, man, here's where to get them. That's for sure. Uh, we don't really need bees. It's kind of weird. There's no oxygen up here, but the bees are up here just chilling out, doing their bee thing. Uh, I can't imagine that they're working because how do they have flowers? They don't have flowers. There's no snow up here. 
That's what those frosty bees need, unless there's some like special kind. I guess we should go get some. I would assume they're just like a though. It's just a thing. Yeah, wintery hive. Hmm. I mean, it is super cool or cold up here. I mean, there's no atmosphere, so there's no heat really. So, at least not at nighttime like we are at the moment. Okay, and let's go like this. We do need some kind of floor in here. We can maybe swap out the floor at some point. But I'm okay with, like, building it just like this. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so that's what... Let, let's uh, jump up in the air and see. So that's what it's going to look like. I think that's going to be okay. I mean, I just don't, I don't... I just wanted, like, something other than just, like, a square. So we're going to go up here. Oh, one more. Okay, two. And then we're going to go two here. And we're going to go two here and two here. And then same thing here. Two here, two here. How about we do that instead of jumping all around? <laughs> I love the fact that we have like low gravity. It's awesome. Come on, man. You got to love it. I don't care who you are or what you're doing. You got to love it. Oh, we're out of... We're using different blocks now. Hold on. Okay. We want to convert these into the pavers. Okay. So let's go like this. And then like that. Okay. So there's the basis of our little area. And we're going to have a pretty good area. But we're going to build our mine right here in the center of this thing. So we're going to... Um, go down in our mine from inside our base. We're going to have to probably block it off. So I don't want to spend too much time just working on this thing. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, my idea is this. So we're going to take um, some glass now and we're going to put glass in these like gaps. Like this. And we'll just do this first little bit. And then we're going to have to put a roof on this thing, which I think is just going to be a if we have enough glass. I mean, we can always go back home and get some more if we need some. I probably didn't bring enough. Oop, a couple more. Okay. So that's looking pretty good, right? Yeah. And then we're just going to go up a little bit higher. So I'm going to run probably another row around this whole thing. Like if I maybe put glass up that high. Like that maybe. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Do I have my... Uh, glass breaker in here uh, I do okay oh my goodness our inventory is a little out of control but that's okay we're gonna have we have brought some chests along with us okay and then one two three and then <laughs> that's awesome that whole jumping around thing yep so we're gonna get this raised up a little bit more one one two three Okay, yep. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of these with these uh, pavers, like that, yeah? Like that. And then I think that's probably going to be tall enough. I don't want anything too big. I don't, it doesn't need to be some massive tall structure. And then I'm going to um, get a roof on this. So let me get all that done. I'll bring you back on the other side. We'll talk about what we're going to do from there. Uh, we got to build an airlock. I think we're going to build it out here on this side so we can go out and around and get in our rocket. I mean, I don't know if we have enough room right there. I guess I really didn't plan that very well. I mean, we, we might. We might. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let me get to building here. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. So we got ourselves a little bit of a area to work in. I lost my airlock door. I placed it, and then I needed to get a button, which thankfully stuff like andesite and granite or dictionaries to stone right so you can make buttons out of that and i broke it and i have no idea where it ended up going i mean i was i broke it like standing right here looked up on the roof i looked uh pretty much all over the place <laughs> and i haven't been able to find it um, i'm gonna put down some light here on the top of this thing just because i think it's gonna look cool when we're coming in for a landing we don't have to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to put some up here. There's no mobs, evidently, on the moon because uh, there's no air. And they can't breathe and they die. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. We don't have to worry about that. But anyway, I wish I knew what happened to my airlock door. I don't know. I went running around here to see. It's not like hanging off the... Because I'm, I'm sure it flew up in the air whenever it... Uh, 
it, it came off that thing, but I don't know. Hmm. I doesn't know. Anyway, um, so we have a little bit of an airlock. So the, the purpose of an airlock, I'm going to fill this in, is we're going to try to make the atmosphere inside this guy breathable, right? So we can just work in here. We don't have to worry about burning oxygen. You can see I'm burning a little bit. We still got plenty of time. I've been working up here probably for 30 minutes or so, just throwing this together. I uh, dug a little bit of a mine shaft down there as well. Um, but anyway, th the purpose of the airlock is so, you know, you open this door, you go in this little room, this door closes, so that's sealed, and now you're ready to go out into the world. And there should be another airlock door here, but it has flung off into who knows where. So that's okay. So here's how we make the air breathable, if you don't know already. We need an oxygen vent, we need this, we need this, all this stuff that we have in our inventory. And I think it's probably a good idea. Um, one, two, three. What is the center? The center is like right here. Yeah, center's right here. And I think we can get away with putting it in the ground. I don't think we have to have it like uh, out in the open. I don't know if that's the best idea though. Uh, now that I think about it, I think it's a horrible idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's put it up where we can work on it. Let's just put it over here against the wall. I think it's going to be okay. So we need uh, power. So we've got a basic capacitor. We need a oxygen vent, which goes in the middle, like so, right? And then we're going to set this guy to uh, output here. So this guy now should have power. I don't think it uses too much. We'll have to keep an eye on it and... We can recharge things if we need to. We put a CO2 scrubber on either side, like so. And then in the CO2 scrubber, I made some of these carbon collection deals. And they have a durability. They'll eventually wear out. And then on the outside here, right, we can't click on this? Yeah. Uh, we're going to make it so it's redstone controllable. Okay. And now... Is it using power? Oxygen vent. Empty. These things should be working. Everybody should be happy here. Why do I not have breathable breathable air? Huh, I don't know. That should be working. I mean, I'm not too worried about it because I got plenty of oxygen, but that should be working. It's not using any power. We definitely want red, red, redstone control. No, this. We want this to be. Normal. And we want to turn it on. Okay. I mean, it's possible that my area is too big, and that might be why. Ah, that's not ideal. We'll have to come back and bring another set of these and maybe figure out what we can do. But that's that's the normal setup. So maybe there's something different in this version of Advanced Rocketry. I don't know, but whatever. I'm not too worried about it. That means we just have to kind of get to work here. All right, let's go over here. Oh, I didn't bring a crafting bench. <laughs> I can't make stairs. Dang it. Okay, well, that's okay. It's not the end of the world, I guess. We'll have to bring one back with us next time when we come back with uh, oxygen scrubbers. I can work on that off camera. So I've just been going down here and digging a tunnel. Make sure we put plenty of lanterns down here. Because I'd like to get some dilithium crystal. And the whole purpose of this moon base is to make that happen. So I've been going like this. right? So down at the bottom and then down at the bottom. So I want to like carve out four blocks like that. Yeah, and we're just going to keep on going. We'll keep putting lanterns every so often so we can see I like it okay you go there and then do I have my shovel in my bag do I have a shovel I've got this guy now eh, that'll work probably okay so let's just uh, shovel out all of that and then this is gonna go here oh there's a Oh, it's a cave down there. Oh, the Cave of Wonders on the moon. Get out of my way. I need to get this. Please don't go like haywire. Thank you. Thank you, guy. 
Okay, and you. Oh, okay. And then we got to take out all this dirt. Okay, and then this. Okay, I didn't realize that there was stuff like this here. But I believe this is what we came for, right there, dilithium ore. Okay, so we have to fix our stuff. We have all kinds of minerals down here. There's bauxite. But this is what we really came for, this stuff right here. Right, dilithium. So we can take this dilithium ore, run it through the crusher, and we get dilithium dust. And then we take dilithium dust, and we run it through the crystallizer, and we get dilithium crystals. And those are important because they power our warp core. Um, I really don't want to be down here like this. Here, let's go like this, maybe. I bump on my head on something? Just follow this down. There's some more dilithium up there. But I just want to get a branch mine going. I mean, there's no reason to have, like, some crazy thing. We'll just run this down. Ooh, look, there's all kinds of crazy stuff in there. That goes down forever. Wow. Okay. I mean, but I'm not worried about it. I just want to get a branch mine going on so we can get all the dilithium crystals that we want and need. Okay. And then... Like this and like this. Okay. And then we gotta break this guy. Okay. So that's that works. Let's clear out some more of these. Give us a little bit of headroom. Clear out these guys. You go away. And then maybe. Okay. So we just need to finish out our stairs. So I mean I could go off camera and do this. Um, you go there. And then we're gonna go like that and like that. And just kind of cover this up. Um, just so I can get up and down. I'm going to bring a workbench the next time I come to the moon. So I can make some stairs and such. Okay. And then we can clear out this. Yeah. Let me tell you what, the old Dadgraph Mining Company has branched out quite a bit. <laughs> what Y level are we on? I mean, we're on Y level 40. Uh, let's see, uh, dilithium? Dilithium ore. Does it tell me where it gens? Yeah. So Y, so down low is the best chance. So 0 0.10, 0 0.8. So we need to get down low. So I tell you what, let me finish my staircase here. I got to just keep digging on down. Let me get that done, and I'll bring you back on the other side of that effort, and we'll just get a little branch mine going, and we'll start raking in the dilithium. And then we've got to go back home. I don't want to be too long in this episode. we got to go back home and start making some dilithium crystals, because next episode, we got to get ourselves a space station going on. And dilithium crystals are going to be key in that, because that helps us make a warp core, which will allow us to go to different planets, and hopefully we'll be able to go to that crazy planet that's got all of the all of the titanium so that's what our goal is it's just a, a, an easy little goal <laughs> yeah what could possibly go wrong all right so let me get these stairs down i'm going to go all the way down to like y level you know 10 12 11 something like that and get to work on see if i can't get some dilithium being mined up i'll see you in just a second Already, my friends, we are back. Man, I've been mining around down here a little bit. You can see my air is starting to drop a little bit. I was all the way down there at Y level 10, and I mined like a huge long mine shaft way out that way, and I never encountered a single dilithium crystal. So I came back up here, and now I'm on Y like 45. So we look at this, right? I mean, it says the higher chance is like 45 ish is. I mean, it's, a low, it's definitely a lower chance than Y level 10. But, that being said, I just started this little branch mine over going this way. And I ran into some dilithium crystals. So, I'm not sure what the deal is there. It seems a little shady, for sure. You come out of there. Give me you. And we'll fill this back in. So, I just want to bring you back and talk about that. I'm not sure exactly why that's the case. But, that is the case. Let's see. Can we find some more? 
if we just go mining out here a ways gotta make sure we're putting lanterns up on the wall we have to bring a bunch more of those back with us when we come back the next time I don't know I, I thought it was gonna be a lot more like prevalent I guess uh, maybe that's just not the case we have to do a little bit of work to get some dilithium crystals but I mean there's just it's not there's not a whole lot but that that not a big deal we can do some serious mining out here I mean I'm just ripping through all this stuff it's kind of cool to watch the blocks go fly all around your head which is kind of cool. Uh, we are going to run out of lanterns, though, before too much longer. So, anyway, I'm going to keep mining. I have, I sort of divided my stacks up just so I wouldn't have to deal with, you know, them going into different inventory spots or falling on the ground or whatever. Uh, so, I just need to keep, I guess I just need to keep mining. That's what I'm going to do. So, let me work on that. And I'll tell you what, let me get a bunch of dilithium crystals and I'm going to meet you back on Earth and we're going to see if we can't. Uh, or dilithium ore and then we're going to see if we can't put this dilithium ore sort of through its paces and then we'll come back uh, next time and start thinking about a space station because we definitely need dilithium crystals for that warp core oh my goodness now i've jacked up my mind anyway let me keep working i'll be back with you in just a second Alrighty, my friends, we are back. We made it back to Earth from the moon. We are professional rocket man, men, person, rocket, rocket, ast astronauts. Oh man, we are taking care of business. I got, I uh, ended up with four and a half stacks of dilithium crystal ore. So now we just need to go down and put it in our, in the crusher. Okay. So let's just start with this. Let's let that cr uh, crush up a little bit. Make sure everything's taking care of business there. Uh, let me check here. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So, I mean, we're in pretty good shape. We did exactly what we wanted to. We went to the moon. We farmed up a bunch of dilithium crystals. By the way, I got my oxygen scrubber thing to work. The problem was, and I, I guess I just wasn't thinking, those oxygen systems have a limited sort of space. Oh, hello, frame rate issues. <laughs> They have a limited amount of uh, like cubic volume that they can uh, get oxygen in. And I had my mine open. So I had that big long channel that went all the way down deep into the, into the lunar surface. Uh, and that was keeping it from being able to, um, to fill that, my little workshop area there, my base area there on the moon with oxygen. And so what I did is I just covered it up with... I think I had granite or something in my inventory, cobblestone, whatever. I just covered it up, and then as soon as I did that, um, the atmosphere inside my little little building was um, was breathable. So that's awesome. That means we're not, while we're in our base, working around doing stuff. I mean, if that's, I don't know how much time we're going to actually spend in there. But now we have breathable oxygen. Um, as a heads up, it was using about 21 RF a tick. So that million RF should last a good while. I turned it off when I left. It's not loaded up there anyway, so it shouldn't matter. But I should be good to go. Okay, so let's go take a look here and see if we have some dilithium dust. We do. Okay, awesome. So let's get a stack of that. And we're going to go outside here. And we're going to put this in the crystallizer. Take this out. This goes in there. And then this thing should process dilithium crystals. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. I love the way you can see them actually being built. It, it kind of fools you. You think, oh, sweet, I'm getting three at a time. No, nah, it's just one, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's some of those guys. Uh, I'm actually going to take these and throw them in here and let those guys get cut up. So now I'm producing dilithium crystals. I'm going to process all this ore that I have into dust. I don't want to do too much at one time, though. I'm afraid it will despawn inside the crusher. So we're just going to do a little bit at a time. But we could probably do another stack of it. So we're going to put this in there and let this process up. Uh, I have one more little thing. I mean, not really a thing. I just need to do a little bit of research, and I want to see... Uh, I figured that I would bring you guys along with me. So let's take a look at the warp core. Let's get our our deal out of here. We're going to have to build this. So we're going to have to build a space station. So instead of a uh, guidance computer uh, or a satellite or a planet ID chip in the guidance computer, we're actually going to put a satellite ID chip. And we'll need to learn how to make that. But let's get our holo projector out here and just take a look. Uh, so I can start crafting anything that I need to 
off camera. So, warp core. Okay, there we go. So let's take a look. So we need uh, 15, oh my goodness, 15 titanium blocks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let me get my handy dandy calculator out here. I can't do that kind of math in my head. So we're going to need... Okay, 15 times 9 equals 135. So i got to make 135 titanium ingots. Uh, the gold is easy, input hatch, machine structure, and then the warp core itself. Let's take a look at this warp uh, core. That is titanium plate, and so that stuff is going to require... So that's a couple more. Uh, copper coil, steel plate and advanced circuits so that's pretty easy we also need a warp controller and that's just some steel oh that's easy stuff right that's no problem whatsoever so we're gonna have to start cranking out serious titanium man i'm nervous to be able to even start this process uh, titanium okay so we have 39 ingots so if i make like 120 yeah i knew that this was going to be a problem so Here's what I'm doing with my uh, air cells. So the problem that you run into, I should just, uh, I mean, we have so much tin. I mean, I don't think it's a problem. But the problem that you run into is when you make titanium, let me show you really quick. So titanium. Uh, so if we make this stuff right here, we use the uh, the electrolyzer, right, to make this. So whatever, you need eight empty cells and 12 bauxite dust. Yeah. And then it produces aluminum dust. It produces these little small piles of titanium dust, which you need four of. Uh, and then you get some hydrogen cells, hydrogen cells, and some compressed air cells. So the problem that you run into is I have to craft. So if I I could just craft empty cells when I did the crafting uh, deal, but if I do that, I'm going to end up with just literally thousands and thousands of these type of cells. So what I've done in my recipe. I said, oh, okay, we'll just go and do, um, so if I look here, I'll show you. So in the extractor, I'm putting in a compressed air cell or a hydrogen cell into the extractor, and then it creates an empty cell. And I think it's working, but whenever we try to make that much titanium, um, and we try to make, you know, 120 of it, it says, hey, you don't have enough compressed air cells to be able to make that you have 344 so i think what i'm going to do just to solve this is we're just going to go here and we're going to say empty cell so we have we have a lots of each and i think maybe i'll just uh, figure out a way to do that so can i make these no we don't want to do that we want to we just want to make a bunch of these empty cells uh, where are they Here, let's do this empty cell okay we just need to make these and I mean they're not that big of a deal it's just tin so I mean I could go in here and I can just make like stacks of them and we can just dump all those into the storage system and I can even make some more I mean, we've got plenty of tin and we can all obviously make more tin if we need to so there's like 1800 now so if I go and make titanium Why am I holding empty cells? <laughs> oh, empty cells with my offhand. Okay, let me put this in here too. Okay, and then titanium. And now if I want to make 120 of this next. Now it says, hey, you've got a whole bunch of these in your inventory. Um, it's all good. And, oh my goodness, I have to, oh my. Um, so it's going to craft, right, the ones that it needs. Right, so it's going to use the compressed air cells to craft those. Uh, 1,440 bauxite ore. Oh my goodness. How much bauxite do I have? That's about half of my total. That's crazy. Okay, titanium. Let's get it done. we got to start the process. It's going to be a long process. So let's just start it. Okay? And it's going to go crazy doing everything that it needs to do. I mean, it's that thing, that electrolyzer is going to be burning through <laughs> the time to make that done. But we'll do that off camera. I'll just have that done. Um, and then we can make the other pieces, parts, the warp core we can make, the machine structure. The other thing we need to do is make a satellite builder. 
Uh, this is something new, uh, but that's easy. Okay, that's not a problem. That, that, uh, saw blade assembly, that's weird. Okay, we can make that. I mean, that's not a big deal. All of that stuff is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we need to make a satellite bay, which is some more titanium, but we should have enough left over if I do all of that. And then a satellite terminal, which I'm not exactly sure what does, uh, what that does. Yeah satellite bay so it's actually really cool you take the satellite builder you put it down like sort of like the rocket assembly machine you put it down on the launch pad and you build like a structure on the launch pad and then the satellite builder like scans it and then compresses it into like a satellite and then you put it in um, your satellite bay and shoot it up into space <laughs> yeah so we're gonna have to maybe I'm not I, I think we'll probably build a separate launch pad um, for satellite delivery just because I don't want to have to tear this down so we'll, we'll work on all that next time next episode though for sure we're going to have a space station and then I think we're just going to build like a platform and then we'll expand it in space which is one of the cool things we can do um, it's going to be awesome I have a plan for the design that I would like to do but man we had a good episode I think we went to the moon we got dilithium crystals we're making or dilithium ore we're making dilithium crystals taking care of business and those will be able to feed that warp core and we started the big crafting job to be able to get all the stuff we need man until next time please remember to be cool don't be a fool and from my age of engineering series where we are no longer bound to the earth the space belongs to us the space how about just space it's like a final frontier or something <laughs> i guess we'll see you next time bye everybody